Michael, you must be so gutted. Yeah, we deserve more from the game. Uh, I thought we were the better team until, and then we have the red card. You know, we were one 0 up. Great goal. I think we had one or two other half chances. We started the game very well, and it's not a red card. It's Morgan gets to the ball first. The follow through doesn't look great, but he can't. That's his momentum. He can't stop himself. There's no malice in the tackle. So then, obviously, you know, to play 60 minutes plus with with 10 men given that that's our third game this week and against a team that hasn't played for two weeks. So it was always going to be a huge ask, but I thought we, we had to weather a bit of a storm for 15 minutes to start the second half. And then I thought we, you know, I thought they had run out of ideas, to be honest. And then, you know, they're too, like we just, it's a bit of fatigue and, you know, it's the nature of playing with 10 men. We concede and concede again. But then we have, like, it's a penalty on Josh Madja. It's a penalty. Uh, and again, the referee chooses not to give it. Essentially just frustrated in general with the referee's performance today. I thought the referee was really poor. Um, I, I can't, I've just watched, there was a tackle here on Jacob Brown, Zamura, and it's exactly the same tackle as, as Morgan Fox. And uh, he doesn't even give a free kick. So, you know, the, the level of consistency and the, the, is just horrific. And, and decisions like that, you know, I, I don't think either, Morgan's wasn't, I don't think Zamura's was a red card either, but if you're going to, you know, send someone off in the nature is how he did, like, you, you got to be 100% certain, and there was clearly, you know, the follow through is just the nature of how Morgan, because he's got and played the ball first, then that's, he, he can't control how, he, you know, obviously how he follows through after the ball. When you take into account the challenge on Taylor Harwood, Ballas at Huddersfield, what do you make of the referee in this division at the moment? Listen, we've, we've, we've had very little off officials, I have to be honest, you know what I mean? That might sound a little bit like, you know, uh, sour grapes in a way, but. When I look at, you know, the red cards we've had this season, you know, Tommy Smith when we played against Barnsley, um, and relative to like some of the one things that have gone unpunished against us, you know, I, th I think, you know, we've it's been very disappointing. I suppose it makes it even more frustrating because you've made six changes going into the game, you've changed shape and you're 1-0 ahead and you deserve to be. Yeah, we deserve to be ahead and we had to make those changes. We knew we'd come here and play with a three. We're playing a very good side, you know what I mean? You know, up with Fulham, probably the best team in the league. And we more than matched them again, you know. The frustrating thing for us is that we come away with nothing and we deserve more than that. That's happening to us a bit recently, so, you know, but, we, you know, if the players continue to show that, what we got today... Um, and we get a better referee, then, then we'll get what we deserve. It must be so frustrating as well for Morgan because he just got back into the side. Yeah, of course. You know, I feel for him, you know what I mean? He's he apologising to me in there. But, you know, I thought he'd started the game very well as well. And uh, he just overruns the ball a little. But it's not like he's, he sprinted a distance to go into a challenge. Uh, challenge rather, he's ball slightly overrun. He goes and wins the ball. And, and unfortunately, his follow through then takes him into uh, Billing, who's almost waiting for it a little bit. And uh, you know, a red card is given. Is it a decision that you may look to appeal? Well, we look to appeal it. Yeah, don't really help us now, does it? So that's, we'll, we'll make a decision on that. Yeah. Despite the defeat, though, there's plenty of positives I'd imagine to take from the game. Yeah, there is. There's positives in terms of how we played when the game was 11 v 11. There's positives in terms of how we had to play with 10 men, given obviously what we'd played this week already. Um, in terms of the attitude and the spirit and everything, and we showed, you know, as I said to, I said to the players today, you know, make sure whatever we do, whatever the outcome, we show the best of ourselves today, and I think we did that.